it's Amy. I'm here to do another tag video so you will recognize the same outfit because I'm basically filming them back to back. So this tag video is called the best, the worst, and the most dramatic, the luxury handbag tag. It was created by the lovely Lydia Elise Millen. I discovered her recently and um, I just, I love her personality and I just love how beautiful she looks. She's so gorgeous. So I was tagged by a new subby and also fellow Canadian YouTuber that uh, I, I discovered recently and her name is Chenny and her channel name is Matcha Diary. So the first question is how many handbags do you own? I currently own nine handbags and uh, if you see my most recent collection video, I did add one more new one and sell one, so I, I still have a total of nine bags. Number two, how do you organize and store your handbags? So I store it, I think, like most people do. I basically have a small shelf. Since I only have nine bags, it's not too bad. I only have a very small shelf from Ikea, and it has uh, eight slots and seven of them is mine and one of them is my husband's and I just basically put all my bags in their own dust bags and then put them away onto the shelf. The shelf is also away from sunlight and heat and it's it's basically sitting on a wall that's pretty secluded it's right beside my bed because we do have a small space here i don't always put my bags in their own dust bags all the time especially the ones that i'm rotating a lot so i typically uh, leave my twice open i typically also leave my uh, the small backpack, the mini palm spring. The only exception is my never full. The whole bag is quite tall with the straps up. So what I do is I still put that into a dust bag. I do use a different dust bag for that one. I have a dust bag that I got from Clover Sack. It has this nice drawstring so I can basically put the whole bag inside it and only the parts that are exposed are the straps and I basically just hang the bag. Number three, what was your first handbag purchase? I think I would have to go back to all the way to high school maybe. I never really had an actual handbag until I started noticing um, you know, other girls. Uh, at the time it was totes that was in because I guess as a student you still needed space to put your books. And so my first handbag was actually a tote bag but it was, it was something so cheap. It was. You know, I don't even remember the store because it's just one of those stores that sell all kinds of different leather goods. They're not even real leather, it's actually made of PU. So like, you know those small boutiques inside like your just like average shopping mall? Um, those kind of bags. So it was just basically a black tote that was like maybe like this size. It has like a zipper on top and it cost me, I don't know, I think it was like $20. But at the time I felt like it was so expensive. But basically that was my first ever handbag and I'm pretty sure it was sometime in high school. But the first time I got a nicer handbag so it would be a, a coach handbag and I bought my very first coach handbag in 2004 I want to say and it was a white silver hardware and it has like a turn knob. I used that handbag to death and it was no longer white. And like many people, Coach was also the brand of bags that was the stepping stone for me for getting into the premium luxury brands. So like after Coach, well after a while of Coach, uh, my very first bag was an LV bag, which is my Alma PM uh, that I still have. I got in 2008. So four years later, I got my first LV. Question number four is, what is your newest handbag? My newest one is my Chanel mini flap. It's a square flap and I have a whole like reveal video if you guys are interested, I'll link it below. Number five, what is your most expensive handbag? At the moment, my most expensive handbag is actually my jumble flap. If you've seen my previous video, it would I would have talked about it so much. I love this bag to death. It's the it's a pre-love jumbo single flap in caviar and silver hardware. So even though this bag is pre-love, it is still my most expensive one because jumbo flaps in general are just super expensive. No matter you buy them pre-loved or not, they're just really up there. Before my jumbo flap, I actually had another bag that is no longer in my collection that was actually more expensive. That was the boy bag. So um, I got the boy bag a few months before my jumbo. That one I did get it brand new, so it was you know retail price, so it was more expensive and after tax and all that, it was 
even more expensive than my jumbo flop. Number six, what was your most dramatic handbag buying experience? So for me, the most dramatic ones, hmm, I think it was buying my first LV bag, but also the more recent dramatic, most dramatic experience for me would have to be all my Chanel bags. Getting my boy bag or even my mini, um, they were both super dramatic in my opinion because when I bought my boy bag, it was actually um, the store that we had was relocating. They were launching the the Caviar Boys again after a couple years of not having any Caviar Boys ever. Uh, they were launching that on the same day that they're opening, uh, doing the grand opening of the larger boutique. There was a huge anticipation of just the boutique being open and just being brand new and in their new location but there is also this huge anticipation of the new collection coming in and at the time it was it was the pre pre-fall yeah i believe that was the caviar the first caviar that came back was the pre-fall 2016 collection and yeah it was a huge lineup i got there a few minutes after they opened so it was still basically 10 o'clock and there was already a huge lineup and i waited maybe I think maybe half an hour, I can't remember for, for sure. Uh, so I eventually got in and it was a zoo inside. They, they still let in quite a large number of people, enough to make the store, the larger store feel very compact. It definitely felt like high stress environment to me. Like it was, everybody's fighting for space in front of the mirror or, or even just fighting for bags. So that was pretty much my most dramatic experience. And I usually love vlogging, but I cannot vlog under stress, under high stress environments like this. It's just not possible. In case you guys are wondering why buying my first LV was a dramatic experience, it's only because it was my very first like super nice bag. And I went in not having a lot of knowledge about LV bags in general. So that was kind of frightening. And luckily I had a really good essay. So. Although it was very dramatic for me, like in, in inside, uh, I, I still had a really, really nice experience. So that's the reason why I say that buying my first LV bag was quite dramatic as well. Number seven, current favorite handbag store. I think I'm gonna answer this question based on um, just like the customer service that I got. If I, I feel like when I get really good customer service, I just love going back to that brand or just love going back to that store more. So of course I've had really good service at LV and I've also had really good service at Hermes and Chanel but I, on the other hand there were times where I went back to these same stores and I didn't really get the most friendly or the most like comfortable experience so I'm not gonna pick those. We don't actually have a standalone Celine store uh, so I did buy mine in Nordstrom and at the time my essay at Nordstrom, he was just super helpful. If you're watching, hello. Um, he, he was just super nice and I felt super at ease. It was my very first Celine bag and he let me try it on. Uh, we talked about, you know, the quality issues that I read online and, you know, my doubts about the bag and he put me at ease. He explained a lot of things, how they revamped things and improve their bags so and if that there was any issues that i can always come back and either find him or just like the store will take care of me basically that's what he's saying so i had a very very good experience when i bought my celine bag although i don't know if it's actually considered celine itself the customer service there so it's possibly it's just Nordstrom that's really good. Um, but other than Nordstrom, I actually also had a really, really good experience uh, very recently at Dior. I went into their standalone store for the first time in Hotel Vancouver and it was a very beautiful store. It's, it's, it's more new. I think they only opened for a couple of years and it's very vast, the space and very clean and um, just very inviting the essay that uh, greeted us she was very wonderful she you know i i had my eyes on the diorama i wanted to try it again and uh she you know she answered all of questions and she you know she even invited us to sit down and have some water i love experiences like that because i feel like 
whenever I shop for something, not just about bags, about anything, whenever I shop for something and I go inside a store with a very helpful essay or stylist, whether on that very day I was planning to buy it or not, even if I was not planning to buy on that day, I would most likely more be more inclined to go back to the same store and buy it with the same person because she invested so much time and love and care with the customer that I felt like, you know, it would be my duty to go back to the same person to buy it. Number eight, my current favorite handbag. It's very tough because I love all my handbags, even the ones that I sell, but if I have to pick absolutely one, um, hmm, I think I'll go with my jumbo. <laughs> and yet it is a pre-loved bag and I absolutely love that bag. It's just amazing how much I love this bag. And yeah, I'm just so glad that she's in my collection. But honestly, it's really hard to pick just one. I have a video where I shared my, my top five. I would be happy with any of those five basically, but I really, Maybe I love my jumbo slightly more. Number nine, my least favorite handbag. I have two to choose from. So I have my Alma PM. So basically my very first LV bag. And I also have the Speedy B uh, in Damier Ben. I have the size 25. So between the two, it's hard because I don't use my Alma very much. I typically use it when I have a wedding or like a nice event to go to. And I really do enjoy it because it's so pretty. So maybe I'll choose this BDB because <laughs> I know I've talked about it so much. So I'm, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more again. So because it's a different video. So basically I choose my BDB because I don't know. I have such a love-hate relationship with that bag. I love carrying it. It looks so good on and it's so classic. It's, it's, so, it's so good when you carry it. Like it's... It's beautiful, basically. Uh, so iconic. Um, the reason why I don't like it, or I, my hate side of the relationship is because I tend to go in and out of my bags often, and I need my bags to be easy to go in and out of. Unless the bag was much smaller than if it was a black hole, I would still find it easier to get in and out of. But the fact that it's still quite spacious, um, and that there is such a constricted opening. No. <laughs> Number 10, what is my next handbag purchase? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, my wishes changes a lot. And I was tagged by one of you to do a wishes video, so I will get to that. Um, but I'm really into the Deauville right now, so the Chanel tote. Uh, but I'm very specific. I wanted just like a specific model and color. And I know we're not getting this in Vancouver, so I can say bye bye to that unless I can get it somewhere else, which I'm so excited about because there is a chance I might be able to get it because I am going to Europe this year. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to Europe uh, this summer. So hopefully I can see what I can find there. Uh, but yeah, I'm keeping my expectations quite low because I just, I don't know what I'll find there. Um, but, uh, so other than that, I would definitely love to add more Chanel flaps in my collection. I just love flap bags. 11, which I think is also the last question, what is your dream handbag? Ooh, it's, it's so similar to the previous question. I think dream handbag. Maybe I will interpret it in a way such that um, like it would be such a dream to get it. So maybe it's like, it would be so hard to get that bag. Um, so something not as easily reachable. I don't know, I wanna say Hermes Birkin, but I know even if I have one, I probably won't be really using it because it is a handheld bag and I know how heavy it can be if it's a full leather bag. So I don't know if I can choose that, but just for the record, I love Love, love, love the Hermes Birkin look. Even though I know it's completely not practical for me, I just love it so much. And I just want it in black. Other than the Hermes Birkin, I think it would be any other bags on my wish list that um, have a very high price tag maybe. And I only say that because for the very high price items, it makes you think twice whether you 
whether you really want to have it in your collection. There's really a difference between whether you can feel uh, not guilty to own so many of these things and and be okay with it. Even Chanel bags, I for me they would be my dream bags. More Chanel bags basically and um, the diorama would be one of them. Yeah, it's very hard to answer this question. I basically I would just you know whatever my wishes is, anything that is super expensive would be part of my dream handbags. I know I've been vague, but that's my answer. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much Chenny for tagging me and I would like to tag a few people Lala LV, LV Lover CC, Amy Jo, Cat L, Catherine is a cat, Minx for All, Andre, Bagaholic Stories, Proud Louis Will Travel, Melon Melbourne, and Jerusha. I would love to see what you ladies will come up with you know, as answers for these. I think it's an amazing tag and I think it's so entertaining to watch and to see everyone's, you know, different journeys on their luxury bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, welcome to my channel and I hope that you will be back and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Amy and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!